the Schumann Show. How are you all doing? It is so nice to be back here. And of course, we had to open with the Barbie sketch. But don't worry, we're not going to make an Oppenheimer parody because we know no one wants to stay here for three hours. Did you have a good summer? Yes. Okay, I sense a little bit of apprehension. I think, yeah, the summer was let's say interesting, and by interesting, I mean apocalyptic. Fires, floods, I'm still waiting for the plague of locusts to come down. But don't, uh, but, but don't worry, because apparently we're all going to be going to Northern Europe in the future for our vacation. It's going to become the new hotspot. <laughs> Two people are happy about that. <laughs> and I think the rest of you feel like I do, meaning that even if the south of Europe is on fire, we'll still take it over the Belgian coast. Sorry, Knaka. But relax, because the European Green Deal is totally working, right? <laughs> At least that's what von der Leyen had to say in her State of the European Union speech. <laughs> did, you, did you watch it? Yeah. Of course you did. The State of the European Union, that magical time that all of Europe gets together to hear what the President of the European Commission has to say. Well part of Europe. <laughs> Brussels. <laughs> well, the area between Schumann and Avenue Desire, really, let's be honest. <laughs> and uh, there were quite a few interesting things mentioned in this edition. Apparently, uh, Ursula's all for enlargement, and she thinks we should just go ahead, make the changes, and worry about the treaties later, because 27, 30 plus, what's the big difference, am I right? Okay, Ursula, let me tell you something. 27 and 30 plus is not the same thing. Just remember your first hangover after 30. <laughs> not the same thing. <sighs> it's hard now, guys. It takes me four days. <laughs> China also got a lot of airtime in the State of the European Union. Um, von der Leyen wants us to de-risk, but not decouple from China. I know, right? It's, what does that even mean? I think it means we need to be friends with benefits with China, right? <laughs> right? Okay, meaning uh, China, we still want to, you know, get our trade on, but we're going to use protection. <laughs> Incidentally, this year's State of the European Union was sponsored by Durex. Um, did you see what happened in Budapest last week? A bunch of far-right leaders and intellectuals and Jordan Peterson got together to discuss <laughs> Europe's demographic problem, a.k.a. let's make more babies. Um, it was, uh, it was quite, um, quite what you would expect, of course, you know, like everyone blaming gay couples and women who work, when I think what they should have been doing there is just getting it on, you know? Have one massive orgy, <laughs> And uh, thanks to Catholic contraception, maybe they would end up with a few babies on the way as well. Two birds, one stone. And they would also make it the first European conference to produce tangible results. <laughs> it's a win-win. What else? Qatargate. Qatargate has been back in the news. Did you see it? Some people have. Some people are like, what the hell happened? <laughs> I'll tell you what happened. Eva Kaili, Mark Tarabella, and Andrea Cosolino have got together and managed to, um, to make the Belgian police look bad. Because apparently, they shouldn't have lifted, they didn't follow proper procedure and lift their immunity before conducting their investigation. So uh, I think it's a pretty ballsy move, personally. I mean, you know, you illegally exposed our illegality. Sven Mari, Eva Kiley's lawyer, called, said that now we're not talking about Qatar Gate, we're talking about Belgium Gate. <laughs> and if I'm honest, I think the least surprising part of this is that the Belgian police made a mistake. <laughs> Honestly. Next thing you'll tell me is that florals are in for spring. <laughs> they are, yes, they are in. They're always in. <laughs> but anyway, it's always important to be able to own up to one's mistakes, don't you think? Yeah, and in fact, the EU has also done just that, and that's what our first sketch is about. Enjoy the Schumann Show, everybody. Woo!